English translation. The human being must in their life do everything affirmatively and consciously. The human being cannot miss anything in his or her life with regard to him or herself and everything he or she also undertakes if he or she remains persistent, patient, with himself or herself, and with his or her thoughts and feelings, as well as with everything he or she has in terms of ideas and intentions and strives for and realizes everything willingly and consciously. To do this, however, it is necessary that he or she always endeavors to make a clear selection from everything that interests him or her and is possible for him, which he can fulfill and which is also achievable and helpful and does not lead him away from himself. Fundamentally, he must do everything clearly and consciously at all times and remain exact and firm in whatever he does, so that he does not have to try to do other things that have nothing to do with what he has willingly and actively tackled and therefore also fulfills and brings to an end through continuous action. The human being must therefore also do whatever he does completely consciously and with as much attention, joy, interest and love as he can muster for it. And if they do it in this wise, their actions will not be exhausted, but will lead them to keep going, and the success they gain will spur them on to continue with new things and achieve further successes. By acting and doing in this wise way, he experiences and realizes that there is effectively nothing unimportant in his life, because he gradually realizes that his life is happening at all times, every second and every minute. This makes him realize and understand that he has to carry himself through his life and make himself happy and content. The human being must therefore always stand by himself and what he does and what he is with a clear consciousness because only in this way will he truly live his conscious life and not exhaust himself in frustration as well as in unhappiness and dissatisfaction. The human being must live his or her life and be his or her own conscious manager of his or her energies and powers, regardless of what also approaches him or her, what occupation he or she is engaged in whether he or she is surrounded by human beings who are going along more badly than well in their existence and life, or whether nerve-wracking events and situations appear and demand his or her strength. He or she must therefore be aware that he determines his personal mental, emotional, psychological and conscious salvation and well-being, absolutely, and in every respect himself, and that it is not dependent on what happens around him. What fellow human beings think or want from him is also not important in any wise. But the only important thing in this relationship is how consciously, clearly, lovingly, correctly and rationally he forms his thoughts and feelings and how he reacts. The important thing is that the human being considers everything clearly, sensibly and attentively without reluctance, and puts his honest appreciation into every judgment of a matter to be considered, so that the necessary decision does not drain him, does not make him dissatisfied or insecure, but full of energy and strength as well as secure and satisfied. So in every relationship of this kind, he must also do everything affirmatively and consciously with regard to a correct decision, and not allow distracting activities to keep him from it, or also not allow him to fall into frustration. He must also not allow himself to be pressurized by anything of any kind, so that he does not slip out of his commitment to moving forward in life. He must counteract all inner pressure and stress by counteracting everything powerfully, and turning affirmatively and consciously towards the best, the good and the positive, by creating inner peace, inner serenity and calm. The human being's happiness and contentment never depends on harboring the unfulfillable desire to be a perfect human being. For such a desire to be such corresponds to a pure illusion, because such human perfection can never be achieved and also cannot be found in the entire universe. The human being, like any other human being, 
no matter how developed he is in terms of consciousness, knowledge, experience, education, and ability can never be perfect, but only a human being with certain acquired, learnt, or inherited abilities, which he can master to the best of his ability to a high degree. However, this does not correspond to actual perfection, but to bravura, brilliance, expertise, a masterly ability, that is to say, a mastery, perfection, that is to say, virtuosity. In the effective sense, however, perfection means absolute perfection, which does not exist. This is because, according to creational natural law, everything and everyone is subject to evolution and thus to constant change, which consequently always brings change at every stage and in every form of development, but which can only be relatively perfect. Therefore, with the best will and the best efforts, Human beings can never become, and also never be perfect, but they have the opportunity to make the very best of themselves and to become and be an effectively true human being. It must be the human being's own task to become aware of this, and also to recognize this truth and act accordingly for the best, good and positive for himself, thereby building himself up mentally, emotionally, psychologically and consciously, and making himself a true, happy, and contented human being. In this way, he can cherish the wish to be a true, happy, and contented human being. But he must realize this wish through the good and positive building up of his thought-feeling psyche-consciousness world in such a wise way that he now does everything necessary willingly and willingly. This alone puts his inner world in order, and he can also accept himself with all of his harmless corners. Idiosyncrasies and quirks, as these are probably inherent to all human beings in one way or another, which they must also accept and live with without being offended by them. From now on, it is also necessary for human beings to focus their mindfulness and attention on achieving inner peace for which it is very important that they always pay attention to how and why they carry out their actions and how they commit their deeds. He must always be clear and aware of whether he is acting in relation to something or whether he is doing something, because acting and doing are effectively two different values that are to be assessed differently. It is therefore important for him to know whether he is carrying out an action or whether he is committing an act or doing something, and whether he thinks that he has to act or do something and therefore has no choice, or whether the reason lies in the fact that he acts or does something consciously willingly, willingly and therefore affirmatively with joy, interest and also mindfulness and attention. The fact is that only what a human being does with a conscious, joyful, willing, interested and benevolent action leads to fulfillment and meaningfulness, or what he or she carries out and commits in the same context with a deed or action. So, it is the case with everything and everyone, and must always be the case, that only he alone decides whether he carries out his action affirmatively and consciously, with interest, joy and with mindfulness and attention, or whether he carries out his action with the same values, or whether it is something to be fulfilled because it has to be, and he has no other choice but to carry it out and perform it. However, when a human being performs an action, or commits, or carries out a deed, he must always do so affirmatively and consciously, as well as with joy, interest, and consideration for what he is performing or doing because this strengthens his own motivation and makes him feel comfortable in his actions and deeds. However, his thoughts and feelings must always be focused on the task at hand, so he must also not deviate elsewhere. The human being is also unconsciously grateful to himself in this wise and strengthens his respect for himself. And this applies to every wise, and to everything and anything that also arises, that is to say, to all things, big and small, which he must always approach and fulfil affirmatively and consciously. 
This also applies to all matters of all kinds, also things and activities that he does not like to do. But if he benevolently applies the necessary perseverance and patience, mindfulness and attention, joy and interest, then he supports himself in such a way that he strengthens his inner guidance through cheerfulness and serenity, and thus supports himself immensely, positively, and powerfully, and does everything that arises affirmatively and consciously. The human being as such decides entirely on his own how he henceforth builds up and uses his energies and the resulting powers within himself, how he shapes them, necessarily in a good and positive way, and radiates them, thereby allowing his fellow human beings and the whole environment to recognize whose child of consciousness he is. In this vibrational wise, as well as with his words and all his small and large works of all kinds, he also scatters the seeds of his ideas, thoughts and feelings, as well as his state of consciousness and psyche, and also reaps the fruits in return. The human being reaps these fruits in this life, from here and now and from every second, minute and hour, as well as every day until the distant future of his life, when he will one day have to say goodbye on his new path through life and leave this earthly existence. Therefore, let him examine very carefully how he shapes and leads every minute and hour and every day of his life how he goes through existence, how he willingly acts in all things and situations, cultivates his behavior, chooses his words when speaking, and does everything necessary affirmatively and consciously. The human being as such is his own leader, lord and master and the fighter who fights for himself, his own well-being, happiness and contentment, and who alone has to judge what is good and positive and what is negative and bad for him. Consequently, he is also responsible for the healthy criticism that he must give himself in an honest way, because he is in every respect his own confidant and responsible for every action and deed. The human being must criticize himself if he has done something that is not right, just as he must also appreciate himself if he puts something right and brings about something good, positive and valuable. The human being as such is the person responsible for everything and anything in every relationship, which is why he must also never forget, but must always be affirmatively aware of the most important thing, namely that he can only be happy and satisfied through his self-love, that is to say love for himself and for himself. And this self-love awakens in him the truth that he can grasp and enjoy the beautiful aspects of his life if he is fully aware that he only has to affirm and select them, and that he also bears full responsibility for them, and knows that he alone, through his own energy and might, determines everything and anything himself, and also affirmatively and consciously comprehends and realizes everything. The human being must therefore now direct his thought-feeling psyche-consciousness block towards exercising his life reorientation, thereby bringing about the turnaround in his life, accepting it and becoming happy and content in the knowledge that he can only determine this himself and can also only do it alone. This is precisely because no other human being, but only he alone, is able to do this for himself. And the fact that from now on he does it himself affirmatively and consciously must be because his own willing, in this respect and his willing now doing, are the roots of the fact that his willing is no longer lost in the endless emptiness of eternal willing, which is never realized, but precisely that. On the contrary, the willing now finally becomes reality and truth, and he realizes it through the now doing. And only by effectively transforming the will into the deed, the now doing, and thus affirmatively and consciously creating a new reality of life in joy, happiness, contentment and honest, healthy self-love through his rethinking of life, does a life arise for him that is shaped according to his fulfillable wishes and makes him into the human being that he must be in creational, natural, legal terms.
Therefore, he must be told again and again that he must determine himself in every respect for everything and anything, that he alone must tell himself how and what he must do, how his behaviour must be, and how he wants his life and existence to be shaped, because no human being other than himself is able to do this. Effectively, every determination for his life, as well as the correct functioning of his thought-feeling psyche consciousness block, lies with him alone, for he alone in his own personality has might over it. Sim Ya Se, Silver Star Centre 5th May 2016, 2357 Hours Billy.